Ate, okay naman si Harry ah. He's a fine guy. I know you will like him. I met him several times and he seems fine. Mabait rin and very hardworking. You guys like him for me. Pero paano naman ako? Kayo na lang ba susundin ko for the rest of my life? Ate, when the business is okay na, I think you can just call it quits naman na, di ba? Is it that easy for you, Wendy? Kailan man hindi tinuro ni Daddy na ganyan ang marriage? Dad stood for mom even in those days when they're not alright. Marriage should be a union of two people who loves each other and cherish each other. Not a union of two businessmen. Why do we don't play with marriage? It is sacred. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel nito, Ate Genio, istorya mo, ikwenta ko. Huwag kalimutang pindutin ang notification bell and subscribe button. Maraming salamat! Ano ba meron dyan? Ba't ang daming tao? Siguro may nadisgrasya or baka may pinatay sa loob ng simbahan. Usap-usapan ng mga bystanders. Nagkumpulan ng mga tao sa labas ng isang simbahan sa bayan ng San Martin dahil sa komosyon na nagaganap roon. Isang ginang ang umiiyak at naglulumpasay sa labas ng simbahan. Hindi pwede to! Hindi pwede itong nangyayari sa akin! Sa pamilya ko! Sa anak ko! Hindi pwede to! Halos himatayin si Mrs. Connie habang naglulumpasay ito sa kakaiyak sa hagda ng simbahan sa kanilang bayan. Si Mrs. Connie Sandoval ay kilalang negosyante sa bayan ng San Martin. Construction ang industriya ng kanyang kinabibilangan. Single mom rin ito at lingid sa kaalaman ng marami ay halos lunod na ito sa utang. Hindi po masyadong matagal na namatay ang kabiyak ni Mrs. Sandoval. Mahigit isang taon pa lamang na pumanaw ang kanyang kabiyak. Hindi naman naging magandang takbo ng negosyo nila na magkasakit ang kanyang husband. Halos nasimot ang mga ipo nila sa kanyang gamutan noon. Ang tanging pag-asa na lamang para maisalba ang naiwan ng kanyang asawa ay ang ipakasal ang kanyang anak sa isang Chinese Filipino national na partner din nila sa kanilang negosyo. Ngunit parang hindi na maisasalba pa ang pinundar ng kanyang asawa. Tita, tahan na po. Huwag ka nang umiyak. Pinapaypaya ni Wendy ang kanyang tita Connie niya hindi na halos makahinga dahil sa sobrang iyak. Wendy, ito na lang ang tanging iniwan ng tito mo sa amin. Tugot pawis ang inilaan niya dito para lang mabigyan tayo ng komportabling buhay pero dahil sa katigasan ng ulo ng ate mo, wala na. Magiging bato na lamang lahat ng pinaghirapan ng tito Ray mo. Tita, hindi po magiging bato yan, okay? Kumalma ka na. May mahahanap din tayong paraan. Okay ba? Hindi ko na alam, Wendy. Hindi ko alam. Connie felt so helpless with her life and season. Her only daughter, Angel, or Jelay Sandoval, was supposed to marry Harry Chua. Their union was the supposed to be the way to save their businesses. It will not only save but will boost their businesses. Both families planned about their business venture and some tycoons has already forecasted na mas magiging malakas ang pagsanibwesa ng kanilang mga negosyo. But everybody's expectation came to waste nang parehong hindi sinipot ng dalawa ang kanilang kasal. Angel Sandoval, a renowned young artist in the field of fashion designing, known to her friends and family as Jelai the Artist. She is well supported by her business tycoon dad and even sent her to Paris, France para makapag-aral sa isang prestigious school of fashion. Hindi naman alintana ang gastos dahil, why not? Afford naman ang kanilang pamilya. And besides, elite family like theirs, hindi na nagbibilang ng gastos yan. Their cash flow overflows kaya whatever they want, they can just achieve it. Jelai liked her life abroad. She was alone, independent, and was so fond of living her life out of the limelight. She lived her life there without pleasing someone in the community. Ibang-iba sa buhay niya dito sa Pilipinas. Hindi man celebrity but she was very known to people because of her connection sa mga kilalang artista at mga elitista who runs after every designs she has. 
She's young but very sought after kind of designer. Politicians, elites, at mga sikat na artista are going crazy with her designs and her clothing line as well. She is a very hardworking woman. She's so hands-on with her line of business. She makes sure she has a personal connection with her clients. Kaya nga ba gustong gusto siya ng mga sikat na artista? Very versatile kind of woman and also very flexible. She's a client pleaser, even exceeds their expectations. Not like any other kid na walang alam sa buhay. Jelly knows how to sharpen her iron. She thrives even when odds are against her. Her life in the limelight went dark during her dad's cancer season. It was a long season of suffering and struggle. Jelly loved her dad so much. Her dad was a good businessman and a very involved dad to her. In everything she was going through, her dad was with her, and her dad taught her so much about love and family. And due to his dad's character, nahirapan din si Angel na magkumit sa isang relationship because her dad set a high standard para sa kanya. Marami naniligaw, of course, but none was able to reach the standards she has. Her dad was the benchmark, kaya choosy na nga kung choosy. No wonder naging rebellious pa nga si Angel when she was asked to marry someone she doesn't even know. Days before the wedding, Jelly was in constant fight with her mom, Connie. Ma, pwede pang tumahan ka na? We cannot do anything kapag puro ka panic. I was equipped for this, ma. Please trust me. Hindi naman natin kinailangang umabot sa ganito ka-indecent compromises. Anak, hindi naman indecent yung pagpapakasal mo kay Harry. Harry is a fine guy, anak. I knew him and you two are perfect for each other. He too is hardworking just like your dad. Ma, I really don't care. Alam kong kakayahan ko, ma. And I know na malalampasan at maisasalba natin ang kumpanya without leeching... Other people's wealth. Sana naman pakinggan at paniwalaan mo ako, ma. Anak, everything is already set. What, ma? You close this deal without even asking me kung okay ba yung ganito sa akin? <sighs> Aren't you being unfair, ma? Hindi naman ata tama yung ginawa mo, ma. Para naman akong alahas na binibenta mo lang. You're being unfair, mom. I'm not being unfair. I am being careful of what your dad has left us. Wow. At the expense of your daughter's life, ma? Really? Anak, please. Don't you rebel on this. Bago pa man makasagot si Angel ay hinamatay na si Connie. Wendy run to her tita and help her dahil natigilan si Angel nang nakita niya ang kanyang mommy. Mabuti na lang at nandyan palagi si Wendy... To look after her mom. Simula nang mawala ang kanyang daddy. Wendy is a close cousin of Jelly. She lived and worked for Jelly's family. Parang kapatid na rin ang tuningan ng dalawa and her mom. Connie trusted Wendy so much. She is Connie's confidant. Dahil bilang babae na maraming struggle at iniinda pang pagkawala ng kanyang mabuting husband ay nangangailangan talaga ng someone who will look after her welfare. Ate Jelly, what the... Hindi na makasagot si Jelly, gawa nang na guilty na nga ito sa nangyari sa kanyang mommy, Connie. She is guilty but is very disappointed with what her mom did to her. Hindi man lang kinonsider ang gusto niya sa kanyang love life. Dinala na nga ni Wendy ang kanyang tita Connie sa ospital and talked to her sister about the options that she and her titas have. Pilit na pinaintindi ni Wendy kay Jelly ang lahat at ang goal ng kanyang mommy. Ate, I don't know how you are right now, and I know this isn't easy for you, but believe me, wala lang talagang choice si tita. She has good intentions for you, ate. And besides, okay naman si Harry. He's a fine guy. I know you will like him. I met him several times and he seems fine. Mabait rin and very hardworking. You guys like him for me, pero paano naman ako? Kayo na lang ba ang susundin ko for the rest of my life? Ate, when everything in the business is alright, I think 
you can just call the marriage quits na. Binaling na lang ni Jalay kay Wendy ang kanyang tingin and looked at her harshly. It's that easy for you, Wendy? Hindi kailanman tinuro ng daddy na ganyan ang marriage, Wendy. Dad stood up for mom, even in those days when they're not all right. Marriage should be a union of two people who love and cherish each other. Not a union of two businessmen. Wendy, we don't play with marriage. It is sacred. And we have seen how dad treated mommy in their marriage. We were not raised to take advantage of other people, Wendy. Ate naman. For Tita Connie's sake. Maybe you can consider it? Please. She's all you have right now, ate. Wala ka nang magulang except her. Please, ate. Not all fixed marriage ay nag end naman kaagad. Some of them thrive. Kaya sana naman ate. Agad na niyakap ni Wendy si Jelay hoping that she would be able to convince her cousin to marry Harry. I won't promise Wendy, but I'll find a way. Or maybe. I don't know. I can't promise anything at the moment. Ate, please. Please. Agad na iniwan na lamang ni Jella ang kanyang pinsan na si Wendy sa ospital and went her way home. When she arrived home, wala siyang ginawa kundi ang umiyak at pagmukmo. Hindi halos ito lumabas ang kanilang bahay, even her room. She only gets out whenever kakain siya or to get some food. Nang makalabas na ang kanyang mommy sa ospital ay nangayayat na nga ito at halos tulala na. Jella couldn't take her mom's condition to heart. Naaawa siya rito but at the back of her mind ay naiinis rin ito. It was tough for Jelly that she has to decide for something that she doesn't like. Hindi naman boyfriend-girlfriend relationship ang pinag-uusapan rito. Lifelong commitment and marriage. Mahirap itong putulin. She always believed that marriage is sacred, just what her dad exemplified sa kanya. But she's also torn between obeying her mother kasi... Wala namang good things na we need withhold them parents niya sa kanya. She had a good life because of them. And at some point, this marriage is somewhat a payback for their humble sacrifices. Not sure of what to do? Jello was compromised to say words that the chief thinks would ease her mom's feelings. Sabi niya, Mom, I will do what you want me to do. I'll marry Harry. This is not something I wanted to do, but I'll do it anyway for you, Mom. Connie stared at Jelly and said nothing. Sana nga, gawin mo yung sinabi mo, Jelly. Jelly kept quiet and was so confused about the words she just said. Instead of staying sa kanilang bahay, Jelly was always out. She went to places she's not usually seen. Hindi naman mabisyong tao si Jelly. She doesn't enjoy clubs and bars, but this time, she went to such places just to get away with the thought of being in commitment with someone she isn't sure about. Madalas na rin umuwing lasing si Jelay. Every night, she was out partying her heart out. She met different kinds of people and was acquainted with them for quite some time. These people were all party animals, kaya halos bawat gabi ay papalit-palit sila ng bar just to fill their hearts out. One time, a friend of an acquaintance partied with them, and she knew Jelly. When introduced, that acquaintance was so happy to have known her. Angel Sandoval, right? Tanong ni Diane. Um, yeah. Do I know you? Well, hindi. I'm just no one, but I totally admire all your works. Like, it's a total swag, you know? You created designs that are really not usual and I so long to meet you and of course have one of your pieces. <laughs> But since I can't afford, then I think I'll have to stay as a fangirl until I can afford one. <laughs> wow, that's kind of flattering. But you know what? I'll give this back to you. These ones are like one of the many I made. I think it'll take time before I go back. Agad na ibinigay ni Jella ang kanyang mini bag sa kakilalang kaibigan pa lamang. Oh really? Oh, thank you. 
Sobrang nakaka-happy naman tong binigay mo sa akin, pero... Bakit? I mean... Bakit ka titigil? Sayang naman. Well... There are things that I need to do before embracing my passion once again. Naku, sayang naman. But thanks for this, ha? No problem. Keep it. Hindi po manalalasing ay nagdesisyon na si Jelay na umuwi na. She was torn between something she wanted to do and escaping the reality she's into right now. Ang hirap talaga ng sitwasyon ni Jelay. She has to escape reality by being drunk every night. Ate, Hindi ka ba nag-open na ng shop mo? I'm tired, Wendy. I don't want to. Hi, I understand you, te. But I hope you get to rise above your situation, ate. Ang dami na rin kasi nagtatanong sa akin kung bakit hindi ka rin nag-open ng shop. Ang dami mo rin kasing client, kaya talagang hinahanap ka nila. Humiga na lamang sa couch in July and sighed so deep. She kept silent while Wendy kept talking. Ate, Do you want me to manage it muna for the meantime while you still can't? Well, that's a good idea, Wendy. You can open it. May mga tao naman ako sa shop who knows what to do. Please do it for me kasi parang nawawala na rin ako ng gana eh. I will, ate. Ay, nako. Wendy is torn between her cousin and Tita Connie. Naiipit siya sa conflict ng dalawa. She understands both ends and is really having a hard time comforting each of them. Ganun pa man ay minabuti pa rin i-honor ni Wendy ang kanyang tita Connie by staying on her side all the time. At dito na nga nagtatapos ang ating unang kabanata. Ano kaya magiging desisyon ni Jelay? Will she follow what her mom said or follow her heart? Abangan natin ang kwento ni Jelay sa mga susunod. Nakabanata. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel nito at Ingenio, istorya mo ikwento ko. Huwag kalimutang pindutin ang notification bell at subscribe button. Maraming salamat.